the science is actually pretty fascinating. Regular transfusions of the blood of a younger, physically fit donor can significantly retard the aging process. A vampire going insane. Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson. He calls himself the world's most measured human. He's spending $2 million a year on a team of 30 doctors. To reverse aging. Whoa. They called out the bomb squad. They brought the dog. Wow. As far as I know, it's the first time this has ever been done. You ever done a multi-generational exchange? Ever. If you start to feel like your eyes start to itch, that's the first sign of a, of a reaction. What? Good morning. And the challenging thing is I need to eat this somehow before we get on the airplane. <laughs> I'll get my clothes on, get this packed up. I'm ready to go. Are we on time? So packing really light today, 24 hour trip. So just the essentials. And this, I'll show this to my dad and say, hey dad, you're gonna get this tomorrow in your plasma. At Blueprint, we have evaluated hundreds of longevity therapies. And I thought it would be pretty epic if my son, my father and I completed the world's first multi-generational plasma exchange. Plasma is a part of our blood. So when we get our blood drawn, we see a bunch of red stuff. A part of that is the plasma, which can be separated from it. And it started with this really wild experiment where two mice were actually sewn together to share the same circulatory system. It was an old mouse and a, and a young mouse. The results showed that the old mouse got younger. The proposal is not that my father and I get sewn together. The proposal is that I donate my younger plasma to my father. It's possible that this will help him in a variety of ways. There have been several human trials since the mouse study, but young plasma is still an experimental invasive therapy. Even though we completed a battery of baseline measurements on him, there's some level of risk here. And we're leaving at 1030. Um, you know what? I might, I might just wrap the merch. A year ago, I was living with my mom in Virginia, and I had grown up in a religion for all my life, but I'd never really been into it. And a couple years back, my dad actually had left the religion, and he was sort of the outsider kept at bay by my siblings and I because, because he didn't check the religion box, he could not be trusted. I started to develop a relationship with my dad. And we began working on practical things together, like my homework. And slowly I began to develop a trust for him because I saw that in the areas he's helped me in life, he has had a good track record at helping me succeed. And so that sort of bled into other areas of my life. And eventually I came to the conclusion that I wanted to leave the church I grew up in and come out to California to live with a him. And it was the best decision I've made in my life. Hey, Talmud. There's a delay. Hey, Talmud. Well, so I was updating my algorithm yeah. of the number of cameras on you. So it seems like you're doing really well. I think so. I've been so proud of Talmud because he's, he has not been on camera at all. And Talmud is learning extraordinarily fast. I'm impressed. We are on time. as an alt, nutter, nutter Butters, little snack size and then cookie size Oreos. And you know what? With this option set, we will choose nutty. Oreos aren't a big part of the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanna check in self-service? There are so many things that can go wrong. We've planned this entire thing to happen in 24 hours. Not a single thing can go wrong. So I'm pretty nervous about this. I'm actually excited. This is like the first thing where I'm actually having something done to my body significantly that's supposed to help it besides blueprint. Yeah. Do I want your plasma? Like, how's your plasma been? What's the warning label here? For about 16 years of my life, I've had unlimited sugar. So just be ready for that. 
We're 34,000 feet. We're flying to Dallas. We're about an hour into the flight. We just had some food. Yeah, we're going to go into land. I'm going to see my dad, which I'm really excited about because I haven't seen him in about a year. We talk a lot on the phone, but I haven't been with him. Talmadge is right behind me. I need to check in to see what he's eating to make sure his plasma is okay. All right, so I'll see you guys uh, in two hours. We'll be landing. I'll see you in Dallas. We, we just arrived in Dallas, waiting to find out where our baggage uh, claim is gonna be. Don't know if the bags made it through. The plasma did. We smuggled it inside of each of us, so that was good. I'll drive. My name is Brian, I'll be your driver today. This is Dad. Wow. <laughs> Dad, you look amazing. <laughs> I think that's the first time my son and my father and I have all hugged together. That was a beautiful moment that I will never forget. Yeah. Where do you want? Yeah, go ahead next to Talmadge. Okay, bad boy. I get a lot of meanness directed towards me for Project Blueprint. It does something special to just get under people's skins. They seem to just boil and they want to just unleash on me. I do have to confess, I do love it. All right, let's do the first one. I hope he gets hit by a bus. The thing on this though, I wonder, what happens if a bus gets hit by me? Maybe he chokes on a piece of broccoli or mushroom. This is actually legit. There's, <laughs> there, there's so much irony in life. And if I were to die, it would probably be choking on broccoli. Good comment. We arrived at the hotel and the remaining thing we have to do is get pictures. There's only uh, 20 minutes of sunlight left. And also my bedtime is fast approaching and I just don't negotiate with my bedtime ever. And actually go, physically go. Pull them up, pull them up. Woo! Richard, <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> cool, you look great. Dad, you wanna take center? If you had to summarize, what would you say? You can think about this as things an individual can do to be healthy and well. We typically think about it as an individual doing something, but rarely this intimate of a setting where you're exchanging biofluids in a way that's meaningfully going to impact your, your body. I feel like today that pool experience was like, <laughs> like the, the, any all complications, the humor, everything that was sand, like everything that went with it. It was just like the culmination of all those factors that made it one of those experiences that were like, Shit, that was awesome. Yeah. It, his greatest project is everything, that he's throwing everything in, and a, a son that adopts that, and then me being able to participate. Yeah, that's kind of where my mind is. Like the, I guess the experience itself, I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just grateful that we're connected as a family. We're ready for the next day. I also feel equal anxiety for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be difficult in a different way. We don't know how Talmadge and my dad are going to respond. We don't know if the exchanges are going to go over well. We don't know if there's going to be complications and unforeseen side effects. So I'm equally relieved and equally anxious about tomorrow. Okay, got it, guys. Nice. See you. Pound it. Yeah. Noggin. That's good enough. See ya. What? The plasma bus got decorated. Love flows from the heart. I guess it's really the vein, but, but this is amazing. A long, healthy life united by the beauties of biology and not divided by the tribalism, destruction and violence of the mind. Hey, good morning. This is Dad, this is Chris. Hi Chris, how are you? Nice to meet you. Did you say, where's the old guy? <laughs> no, Did, is that what he no, said? No. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hey. You ever done a uh, multi-generational exchange? Never. Yeah. Father Johnson, how are you feeling today? Absolutely spectacular. Did you eat a good breakfast? No, he didn't feed me. He's over there eating the blueprint and he gives me a muffin. <laughs> well, I'm going to bring you some candy bars, is that Would okay? You? You're my new best friend. Thank you. Plasma exchanges have been going on electively for probably about the past eight to ten years. 
Uh, more often, people have used uh, plasma transfusions and young plasma for hair regeneration, so injecting into the scalp. If you think about it, people have been donating plasma since the 50s and 60s. It's beneficial for the donor as well as the recipient. All right, well, Talmadge will be up first. Is that cool? Whoa. One, one liter out, one liter in for me, one liter out for me, liter into dad. So I mean, you guess it's, yeah, with Talmadge, you know, we, he's been on Blueprint for two years now with me and we do all of our blood work together. And you're right, like the, if you look at the results of our blood work, we're almost indistinguishable. I could be a part of a Blueprint therapy that would help reverse my age and my dad's age and my grandpa's age all at the same time. And so I was ecstatic to have that opportunity to be a part of that. That's me in a bag. That's a nice looking bag. Normally this filter is filled with all kinds of junk that your blood has inside of it, but this is completely clean and there's usually something in there, but there's nothing in here. I created this human. He's now almost 18 years old. We're now doing this together I, I never imagined in my entire life this kind of relationship with my child. Thanks for the plasma. No worries. All right, Dad. Good down, okay. Let me give you a hug. Go out of there. I don't want to ruin your needle. No, you're not going <laughs> to ruin my needle. There are parallels in my childhood and also Talmadge's childhood. My parents divorced when I was three years old. My father was understood as this ostracized outcast person. He didn't help himself with some of the struggles he had in his life, where as a child, and I'm trying to process who my dad is and what he's doing. And you know, I, this is not a judgment on my father. He had his own, he's had his own life journey. That's fine. Ironically, I lived a similar version with my children. You know, Brian has been a magnificent kid through the problems that I had. He was always the one that would reach out. But, you know, there's still that hurt. And so Brian now went through where he faced physical symptoms, everything, in his reconciliation. And he had to pull himself apart. And so as he's gone through that process, then he's been able to look at me and say, ah, I get it. You know, it was not an act of cruelty, uh, misjudgment, you know, lack of character. And, uh, and so that has resulted in, in what I see is this kind of unification where we get each other, you know. Um, we're talking church stuff. Oh, is that right? <laughs> 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 don't, don't, don't pull a towel. <laughs> love you, Dad. Yeah, love you. What a great experience. You feel the love? Yes. All right. When we got back in the bus, the, the mood had changed. We all felt like a team. Even though it was Talmadge, myself, and my dad doing the plasma exchange, everyone there was now invested in this relationship, and we all were in the celebratory mood and it felt like family. All right, well, today we're at the end of our epic adventure, the, the multi-generational plasma exchange. Dad needs to catch his flight. Tom and I are gonna go have a celebratory party. Amazing day. Thanks for coming along for the ride with us. See you, Texas, Texas when you check in, okay? Look at that stud walking off in the distance. He must feel good with this new plasma. People are gonna start staring, going like, who's this dude? This trip was remarkable. It honestly exceeded my expectations in every possible way. The multi-generational plasma, it was a first in world to ever be done. Uh, also, it was an emotional experience for Talmadge, my dad and I. We were able to reconcile. We were divided by the mind and we were unified by our biology. And it was sweet and caring and loving and it was just one of the most beautiful experiences of my entire life. I'm appreciative that we are able to do this uh, journey with you and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. All right, now for one last bit, 
for the 100,000th subscriber, I will give you one liter of my plasma. Subscribe below. Just kidding.